everyone this video tutorial deals with angles of elevation and depression just a recap from our last tutorial we have looked at the trig ratios and we saw that for a right angle triangle then we have these three trig ratios which would be sine theta equal opposite over hypotenuse cos theta equal adjacent over hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent and for a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse is always a side that's opposite the right angle. The adjacent is a side that is touching the angle theta or next to the angle theta. And opposite is the side opposite the angle theta. So that means the adjacent and opposite sides are dependent on where theta is located in the triangle. So the first one we are going to look at would be angles of elevation. The angle of elevation is the angle made between the eye level and line of sight when looking up at an object. So for example, a person standing on ground level looking up to the top of a tree. This would produce a right angle triangle. So as seen in the diagram, if this line represents the eye level of the person and this represents the line of sight when looking up at the tree, this angle created would be the angle of elevation theta. And to form the third line of the triangle, we have the height of the tree on this side. Given the necessary information in the diagram above, the trig ratios can be used to calculate the height of the tree if we are given the other information. The distance the person is standing from the base of the tree, so that's this distance here on the diagram, or even the angle of elevation, which is the value of theta. Angle of depression. The angle of depression is the angle made between the eye level and line of sight when looking down at an object. So for example, a person standing at the top of a building looking down at an object on the ground level would be the angle made between the eye level and line of sight is the angle of depression and this also produces a right angle triangle and as we can see in the diagram if this dotted line represents eye level and this blue line represents the line of sight then this angle here created is theta so please take note of where theta is for angle of depression it is between the eye level and the line of sight here, theta is not inside of the triangle at the top. Now, we know that alternate angles are equal. So, to look at alternate angles, we have this Z shape being formed. So, therefore, this angle on the inside of the triangle is also equal to theta or the angle of depression. So, this is our right angle triangle here being formed. So, this line represents the height of the building. This line represents how far the object is away from the base of the building and the hypotenuse represents the line of sight. Examples A bird is on the ground 12 meters from the base of a tree. If it flies directly to the top of the tree 5 meters tall, calculate part A, the distance Y flown by the bird, or part and part B, the value of x to two decimal places. So as seen in the diagram, the distance y is the hypotenuse of this triangle. The bird is located here. The distance the bird is away from the base of the tree is 12 meters. The height of the tree is 5 meters. So to calculate the distance y, for this part of it, so far no angles are involved. We have two sides of a right angle tri triangle and we need to find a third side. And we know that from our previous video tutorial that when we are dealing with the lengths of a right angle triangle only, there are no angles involved, it's Pythagoras theorem. So we know the length of two sides and we need to find the third side. So using Pythagoras theorem, which is a squared equal b squared plus c squared, the a squared has always the hypotenuse value. So that would give us y squared equal 12 squared plus 5 squared. And that gives us 144 plus 25, which is equal to 169. Now, y squared is equal to 169. 
So the value of y would be the square root of 169, which is equal to 13 meters. So now we know this value of y. The second part of the question requires us to calculate the value of x. In this case, x is the angle, which is the angle of elevation. So from our right angle triangle, we have this side being the adjacent side to our angle, the 12 meters, and the 5 meters being the opposite side to our angle x. So the trig ratio that's appropriate for this part would be tan theta, since tan theta has opposite and adjacent. So tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. I'm just putting in our values. So theta would be x, opposite is 5, and adjacent is 12. So tan x is equal to 5 over 12. x is equal to tan inverse of 5 over 12, which gives 22.62 to two decimal places. In this case, the question specified for the value of x to be given to two decimal places. If the question did not specify, then you could have rounded it off to one decimal place or the nearest degree and just state so in your answer. Example 2. A person standing at the top of a vertical cliff looks down at an angle of 65 degrees at a boat anchored 40 meters from the base of the cliff. Calculate the height of the cliff, h. Now in some examples or some questions that you may come across, a diagram will be given and there will also be cases where a diagram is not given, but it also is helpful to do a sketch of a diagram in the case where we don't have one that's given in the question. So if we do a sketch of this diagram and this green line represents the cliff here, h is the height of the cliff, the person is located at the top. This is the eye level, the dotted line is the eye level of the person and it's looking, the person is looking down at an angle of 65 degrees. So this 65 degrees here is our angle of depression. And if we use alternate angles, then this angle is also 65 degrees. So now we have our right angle triangle. So calculate the height of the cliff. In our right angle triangle, with reference to this 65 degree angle, we have that this side, 40 meters, is adjacent to the 65 degrees. And h is the side that's opposite to 65 degrees. So we need one of the trig ratios with opposite and adjacent. So that one would be tan theta. Tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent and substituting our values, theta is 65 degrees, opposite is the side h, adjacent is 40. So now we need to make h the subject of the formula and solve. So we'll have h is equal to tan 65 multiplied by 40, which is equal to 85.78 meters to two decimal places. So just to recap what we have done so far, the angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal line, which is your eye level, from the observer and the line of sight to the object. Okay, so if this is your eye level, the orange line, and the blue line is the line of sight when looking up at an object, that angle created here is the angle of elevation. The angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal line, which is the eye level, and the line of sight when looking down at an object. So the orange line is your eye level, the blue line represents your line of sight when looking down at an object. That angle created there would be the angle of depression. So for practice, we have an assignment here consisting of three questions. So please try these questions. Notice the diagrams are not provided for these questions, which means it would be helpful to do a sketch for each question. So the, you can pause the video and write down the question and solve each one of them. The solutions will be posted at a later date. So thank you for watching the video. I hope all is clear with angles of elevation and depression. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.